Oh, there's a mouse in the freaking trailer! <laughs> Good morning. Mel is at the wheel again today and now we are on our way to Rainbow Falls Provincial Park where we're going to spend two nights. So that'll be cool just to kind of settle in and uh, have a little break before we do the final leg home. So everybody is leaving Ontario, heading to BC for the winter. We have left BC and we're heading to Ontario. So we're kind of heading the opposite as most of the RV traffic. So we're going up the Nipigon Lookout. kind of a tight spot to get into but uh, we're in and we're just gonna raise it up on blocks to level it out a bit but you can see these um, tire tracks and these tire tracks over here <laughs> there was a lot of backing up and going forward again <laughs> we're the entertainment of the campsite for the last few minutes yeah but I, I think we're pretty good now <laughs> here at home around we're all about realism so we want to let you know that uh, being on the road is not always sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> very much not. But actually we've been very fortunate so far along this journey. We haven't really had too many problems happen. True. Yeah. Uh, you know, really the biggest thing we had was the, was the leaky tire, tire valve mm -hmm. or stem. Um, Which was fixed in like an hour and a half. Yeah. Until we got here. To Rainbow Falls. For the weekend. <laughs> Where do we start? <laughs> so first of all, we realized that the campsite was going to be really difficult to back into. That took a very long time. It took several several attempts, but... But that was okay. We got it in. There um, was no screaming. There was no having yeah. to apologize for, you know, sorry for what I said while we were backing <laughs> up the trailer. None of that. It actually went pretty well. It was very calm, just very lengthy, right? It must have yeah. taken 20 minutes to, to park least, the trailer. At least. And then we start setting up and realize that despite the website saying full hookups, we, really? we again didn't have water, <laughs> which we didn't learn our lesson the last time to like fill up your tank when you arrive. Yeah, and we rolled into town with a third of a tank. <laughs> for the whole weekend. So we are doing some massive water conservation right now. We're basically like using water as if we were boondocking. Yeah, there, is, is, a, there is a water spigot a little ways down the, down the road here from, from our site. So we can get water. <laughs> so if we run out, we can fill up like a gallon at a time. Yeah. But keep in mind, our tank is 55 gallons. So that would be a yeah. lot of trips to fill it. We're not quite it. prepared for that. And then what happened? Oh yes, the firewood oh that we got. Gosh. Because this is a provincial park, the firewood is wet and terrible, which we should have realized. <laughs> I was trying to light a fire for two it hours two last hours, night. Two hours last night. There was a lot of frustration, we'll say. <laughs> a little bit of there was There was the odd hitting. swear word. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was not happy about that. Eventually, he had to admit defeat. The wood was literally oozing water. Yeah. As, as it sort of started to boil. Yeah. So. And then, mm, four, it's even better <laughs> four at 4 a.m. in the morning. Then he is up, 
I'm thinking to myself, he's finally playing. Ooh. He's finally comfortable in the RV to play. But I, I heard a lot of like scurrying and scampering and I was like, what? There was on, a lot of noise. What on earth is he doing? So I got up, turned on the light and he's hunched over and growls at me. And I was like, oh, and then I see scurry, scurry, scurry. And a mouse runs off into the bathroom. And he's got another one in his mouth. <laughs> which he then proceeds to run to me in the bedroom and sit next to the bed. Yeah, he wanted to give you, give you a treat. Surprise, yep. which we, we, you know, we congratulated him on his catch. <laughs> but meanwhile, there's a mouse in the freaking trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we got the mouse out of the trailer. We gave, yeah. Benny, gave Benny some treats because we still want him catching the mice for sure. If yeah. we get any more. But man, there's okay. still one. Well, that ran into the bathroom. We can't find it. We don't know where it is. We hope we found out we, we did find a hole under the toilet. So we're yeah. hoping that it ran under there into the underbelly and left. But then we left him. We, you know, laid back down, tried to sleep. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but he started chasing something again. So we think the second mouse came back, but he never actually caught it. So hopefully tonight if it's still in here hopefully he'll get it tonight we're also gonna go to the store and get um whatever we can to well, mouse proof the trailer a little steel bit wool apparently is a good thing to shove into Any um, nooks and crannies. spaces like that yeah. sort of as a temporary fix yeah um, and then mel's dad said that spray foam is actually a great way to plug them up permanently yeah. so all around the any little opening where any kind of electrical cord or piping goes into your trailer so we're gonna have a look at that today we're gonna do a mass cleaning of the trailer today yeah. Um, and now on top of it, it's also raining. <laughs> but let's look at the positive side of the rain. We got to use our awning. Oh yeah, for the, for the first, first time. time. Yeah, we'll take today to do some video editing and just kind of relax in the trailer. Yeah, stay warm, lots of tea. Anyways, but yeah, that's our update for the morning. That's our day so far. Um, if you have any ideas on how to prevent mice from getting in, deter mice uh, from your trailer, mm -hmm. leave them in the comments below. Please. We'd love to hear about it. Well, All right. Time to start our day. I hope it's <laughs> can only go up better than here, the right? previous 12 hours. <laughs> Tonight, we've got a bunch of wood left. We can't transport it to our next destination because that would just be bad. You might introduce wood pests to a new location. So you don't do that. Never transport firewood. So I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit, get a little bit of uh, starter fluid. But here's what I've got. Got a nice little teepee with some of the wood that was actually dried on the fire last night and some toilet paper rolls. And uh, yeah, all I can do is give it a shot and we'll see how it goes. That's what you call Insta-fire. <laughs> <laughs> so earlier today I got the ax and I made all of this so we had nice small pieces since I knew the conditions would be bad and we wouldn't want to try and burn like big huge logs. So my eyes are super smoky and the rain has picked up but uh, I'm keeping this fire going, even in the rain. It's a nice hot fire, but uh, yeah, it's hard work to keep it going. We're hopefully gonna get a couple marshmallows in. So I don't know if you can see any of this with this light, but we've both got chocolate chip cookie s'mores. Mel will post a picture if you can't see any of this. <laughs> but yeah. So we overcame the elements, made fire. <laughs> we're, we're just like the people on Survivor. <laughs> fire! And we got Cookie S'more. Unlike the people on Survivor. <laughs> Mm. 
Man, those s'mores were so good. So have we solved our mouse problem or are we just giving them a free ride across the province? <laughs> Stay tuned <laughs> to find out. And as always, remember to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, share your best mouse proofing comments in the comments section below. And remember, when, when you, you roam, roam everywhere, everywhere is home. home. You always drive with a smile on your face. Yep. <laughs> thumbs, thumbs up, fingers crossed, I should say. Fingers crossed for the steel wool method. For sure. And, and as always, I thought right. I was doing all that. Or, I you can say See? always. All right. Okay. Just say that. Oh.